Welding generates gases and fumes. Fumes consist of particles of different sizes. Some of these particles are very small and thus they will be inhaled to the deepest parts of the lungs. Gas welding and gas cutting may generate high levels of nitrogen dioxide. And this nitrogen dioxide emerges from the nitrogen and the oxygen in the air. And inhaling high levels of nitrogen dioxide will cause pulmonary edema. And this is a very serious condition where the blood plasma will enter the alveoli. So persons will be drowned by their own blood. Electric arc welding will generate particles, and these particles are of different sizes. These particles will cause a cough, and often chronic cough, and this is also known as chronic bronchitis. Welding in zinc coated steel or galvanized steel may cause fever. This is called zinc fume fever. A low grade of inflammation may also be caused by inhalation of other types of particles. And this type of low grade inflammation has been associated with coronary heart disease. Stainless steel welding generates hexavalent chromium. And hexavalent chromium is known to cause asthma and lung cancer. There are other types of exposures that may cause asthma, and particular welding in polyurethane coated steel or pipes coated with polyurethane foam. There are some metals which are nevrotoxic, and some of these examples are aluminum lead and manganese. It's easier to get intoxicated when cutting lead painted steel. Manganese is also neurotoxic and high levels of manganese may cause a disease which is similar to Parkinson's disease. It is important that the welders are protected from these gases and particles. And one way of doing that is to install good local exhaust ventilation in order to decrease exposure. <laughs> <laughs>